Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this time we're going through SCP-061 through 120. We already, last few episode videos were 1 through 60, and now we're doing 61 through 120. Before we do start, we're going to go over the classes a bit more in detail. Before I just kind of went over, like, hey, there's save, you click the cater. But I'm going to give you from start to the end and what they mean. So, the first one, meaning, like, the least dangerous, is neutralized, meaning it's, just, it's over. Like, they don't, they're dead. They were either killed or either they're, they're killed. They don't exist anymore. Safe, um, treat it well, and everything will be fine. Really? Yeah, it's pretty much straightforward. Um, Euclid, best stay away? You don't always have to. I mean, like. If you trust it, like, hey, don't kill me, and then it kills you. Um, cater. Stay well away. And then, Thermal, uh, helping hand, I don't, must be, like, really friendly, like, I don't know that. And then there's a Apollyon, which is the end of the world. Like, you don't want to come across this. You don't want it to exist. Apparently, there's an SCP called God. So, yeah. I don't know. Let's just go on, right? Let's start with SCP-61, Auditory Mind Control. Class safe, but I assume you'd listen to this and then you... Your music library is empty. What do you want from me? This happened last time. I didn't say Siri. Moving on, um, I assume that you listen to it and mind control, like you wouldn't have control of yourself anymore. SCP-62 Quantum Computer, Class Euclid, um, I assume this one is like, oh, it's a computer, of course. Quantum usually means like, ghost, I believe, so, ghost computer, yeah. That makes sense. Um, SCP-63? Yep. The world's best Toth brush. I did my research and everything had Toth brush. It wasn't a toothbrush. But it's a toothbrush, but it, like, it's called a Toth brush. Because, yeah, it's safe. So don't worry, it won't kill you or anything. Toothbrush. Um, 64. SCP-64. Flawed von Neumann structure. Class safe. It's pretty much a sandstone brick. Yeah, it's a brick. Um, SCP-065. Destroyed organic, organic catalyst. Um, I have no idea what that is. But it looks like a painting, so it's Euclid. So I don't know. Really don't know. It's organic. SAP 66, Eric's toy. So yes, it's my toy. My toy. Um, class Euclid. They, they did class it safe at first because I did some research on this. And then a doctor was studying it. And was like clipping off some yarn, and it like rolled away from him and said, "Are you Eric?" And when he replied negative, like no, he like grew and attacked him, and it was like, yeah. So it's Euclid. Um, SCP-067, the artist's pen. It's safe. Pen has a nice design. It's really blurry, but yeah. Yeah. SCP-068, The Wire Figure. Also safe, but... I can only imagine why these are SCPs. They find this little thing like... Oh, we better, better put that in our facility. That's dangerous, but it's safe. Um, SCP-069... 
Second chance. Class safe. Um, yeah. I did research on this, but I kind of forgot. No. Uh, let's see. Remember, like, okay, so he, I believe, he was a former worker in the SCP containment breach. And I forget what happened, all that, but it, I, I re, the uh, website says, like, he's on suicide watch, so second chance? I don't, he got a second chance in life. Because, yeah. Um, SCP-70, Iron Wings, class safe. I don't know about this one. This guy must grow iron out of his back. And he's like, I can fly now. And he tried to fly and he died. SCP-071, Degenerative Metamorphic Entity, class Euclid. I would believe this entity can like control you and it's metamorphic and degenerative which as the image shows like it's controlling you like in your eye it's like ha um scp 072 the foot of the bed it's safe don't worry that foot of the bed won't hurt you anytime SAP 073. Okay. Class Euclid. This guy seem, looks like he has powers. Like fire powers. And he has a weird symbol on his forehead, so. Yeah. There's also another one in here that also has a name. Just a normal name. He's Gator, though. But this guy's Euclid. SAP 074. Quantum wood louse. There's the wood quantum again. So ghost. Class Euclid. I don't know what a wood louse is. I have to do some research on that. Um, SCP-075. Corrosive snail. Class Euclid. Um, I think if I saw this thing, I'd be pretty worried. I don't like that. Yeah. Um, there it is. SAP 076 Abel. Class Euclid. Yeah, he has a sword and he looks pretty powerful. Those blood veins or whatever that is. Tattoo. He has some nice nails though. And a crow. He has a crow. SAP 077 Rot. Skull. Class Euclid. This skull could have been used in occults and stuff. So, has demons. SAP 078. Gult. Yeah. It's a gult. Too late. Too late to die young. Class Euclid. I don't really know. Um, SCP 079. Old AI class Euclid. So this looks like an old AI, not an older one. Like if it was invent, like if AI artificial 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 intelligence was invented in the eighties, this is probably what it would look like. But yeah, it's a computer. Um, SCP 80 dark form. Class Euclid. This guy looks pretty scary. I mean, looks like a shadow. I believe he's like kind of like smoke. As I remember in the SCP Containment Breach games. SCP 081 Spontaneous Combustion Virus. Class Euclid. Um, well, I see a toilet. I see a cane, and I see a leg. So, it's a virus, all right. I guess. Yeah, I only see a leg. I don't see any other body parts. Just a leg. I guess she got eaten up pretty fast by this spontaneous combustion virus. Whoa. SAP 